Hey there, sports fans. This is Opinionated Glenn, bringing you stories around the globe. It's uh, July 26th, 2011. <clears throat> well, this one just caught my eye. Hotting down Tennessee. Tennessee in January. Well, they went to this guy's house, the cops did. Parked the cruiser way back so the camera wasn't real close. He couldn't get a real good eye of what was going on. Anyways, this guy's standing out there drunk in his coat. He was cold. He wanted to put his hands in his pocket. Cops kept saying, get your hands out of your pocket. Get your hands out of your pocket. Well, anyways, after a while, he didn't get his hands out of his pocket. They wrestled him to the ground, took off his clothes. There he is laying naked in the snow in Tennessee. By fellow hillbillies. That's what made it hard to believe. He's white. A white man in Tennessee? Naked in front of all his countrymen, Tennessee folk, all hillbilly cops. Well, anyways, they tasered this guy numerous times, kicked him, busted some ribs, did all kinds of shit. He didn't do anything. You can hear him. He's in pain. He's in agony. Hey, I'm going to tell you something. Usually... I'm 100% for the cops, but it's fading fast. These cops and these tasers are getting way out of line, I'll tell you, way out of line. They got like free reign. Well, I got news for these good old boys and everybody else with a taser. Pinionate a glam, you'll shove it up your ass and taser you. Then where will you be? It's bullshit, you know? They don't have to use, that's excessive force. Anyways, this good old boy down Tennessee couldn't post bond. He was in jail till July, early July, which is the month now. His point of court appointed attorney said, hey, this is wrong. Get this guy the hell out of here. Anyways, they're going to try and get him, get Tennessee on a civil rights violation. Well, everybody knows that civil rights business does not work unless you're the under under the influence of black. You know what I mean? You got to be a mofo to have a civil rights violation. Everybody knows nobody's got rights but the mofos. So this poor guy screwed, glued, and tattooed because some good old boy cops have a taser gun. I'm going to tell you, those tasers... Are cruel and unusual punishment. Unless you're under the influence of one of the hallucinogenics or drugs, you just rip them tasers out and stick them in the good old boys, let them get your charge. It's a shame. What what the hell, man? If somebody deserves to be tasered, they deserve to be shot. You can't have Mr. In Between. Why would you want to hurt another human being like that, except you get your rocks off? A normal cop, if this was normal times, would never taser anybody, just like you'd never shoot anybody, unless it's a last minute thing, you know? A last resort. I don't know. Oh, shit. I'll tell you what. It's a challenge just staying alive. Because in the ghetto and in Tennessee, it's a challenge. Just stay alive, good buddy. So, this is Opinionated Glenn saying 2150. I don't know where that story went, but if you got anything out of it, good. If you didn't, up of your ass. Anyways, 10 4, good buddy. 2150. Take it myself. Good day.